everything I took, it was in massive amounts. So I would go to pain management doctors, um, a couple of them, different ones in different towns. I'd go to the emergency room to get all these different prescriptions, and then I would fill them at different pharmacies. It's a very frightening and helpless feeling to know that you need to take something in order to function every day. Before that, there was drinking and marijuana. I did ecstasy to the point that I overdosed on ecstasy pills at one point. I was in the hospital for like three days for that incident. I was introduced to heroin and that's when the pain pills went right out the window. It was cheaper, it felt better, and um, it got me really high. It was that point where I knew that if I didn't get help, I was gonna be taken away in a casket. You might feel like you cannot survive without that drug, but you can, and I'm living proof. I said to myself, I really need to get clean. I need to turn my life around and I put myself in detox. You know, there was a lot of soul searching in my recovery. Um, I'm still recovering, I'll always be recovering, but when you get this far in recovery, you learn to cope, and I have the most fulfilling and wonderful life that a person could ask for. I have wonderful family, wonderful friends. I have a great support system, I'm back in school. I have a lot of goals, I'm in volunteer work. You know, I do a lot of good things. You can overcome addiction. It is your responsibility to get help. So many good things are, are in my life now, and you know, it, there's so much hope for addicts.